investors, I just wanted to show share a, a short update, a thought of, I had, I don't know if you would call it a brain fart or an ignorance or uh, whatever. I wanted to share with you, I had an epiphany um, that is probably silly. I, I kind of embarrassed even sharing it with you, but I'm sure you're familiar with, and if you aren't, you should get familiar with self-directing retirement accounts. So you have solo 401ks, which are awesome because they out the gates give you checkbook control of your retirement account. Self-directing IRAs, where you could form an LLC and then the LLC does the business, or you just have a custodian who makes investments on your behalf, yada, yada, all that stuff. Well, HSAs, so health savings accounts are also uh, protected by, you know, have certain tax benefits where you don't pay taxes on, it's kind of like an IRA where it's taxed later. Um, and the purpose of an HSA is instead of, if you don't have some amazing insurance, you kind of are creating your own emergency account and it's categorized similarly to a retirement account, but it's meant for in the future, sooner or later, for you to have access to if you had medical bills you couldn't afford and so you're insured um typically it's a pretty not great insurance um meaning you have a really high deductible um maybe you're limited to where you can go or who you can see or whatever it just depends on the plan you pick um it's the route i went after i quit my federal job and i needed insurance uh, it's the route i went so i'd go high deductible usually a bronze level at whatever company i'm at i've had a couple of states um, and it's similarly always like bronze is what they call it and um, that so that's what I've been doing but like an idiot I've been using the money to pay for medical expenses thinking oh this is a medical thing I can pay for my dental I can pay for my naturopath I can pay for whatever using the HSA but it just occurred to me it's the dumbest thing ever to do if I have cash in the bank and I can afford to pay for my doctor bill or whatever. I should just pay my doctor bill, not touch the HSA savings because that money can be invested. I it, it, This is such a brain fart and I, I'm sharing this with you because I don't want you to, to be me. And I think I spent a little over, well, it was like 14 or 1500 bucks um, this spring doing some treatments uh, with my naturopath to prep for the <laughs> COVID stuff. Um, yeah, so that money that I put in my HSA, because HSAs are like retirement accounts. You can only put so much away per year, depending on if you're, you know, what your age is and whatever. So I can put $3,500 away per year, which I've been doing, um, not forever. I, how many years am I in? Maybe since 2017 or 18 or whatever. Um, but I've been spending it, which is so dumb because when I realized at a certain point, you can put it into the stock market or you can self-direct it. I haven't gotten to the point where I have enough in there that it makes sense to self-direct because um, what am I going to do with, you know, five or $6,000? So I have it in the stock market. But in March, when I put in my 20, 2019 or 2020, I can't remember which one, I put the money in in March right after COVID which means I timed the stock market awesome and um, bought in the dip, basically. I had a 24% return from March to June. It's gone down a little bit since. We've been doing the kangaroo market stuff. But it's like, duh. And now I've been spending that money um, that should have been invested. So anyway, lesson learned for me. If you can afford to pay for the health care, out of your pocket, keep building that H HSA account because if you can put $3,500 in per year in 10 years, um, if it's been, you know, invested, it could be worth forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. And um, yeah, but if you use it now, it never has a chance to grow and compa compound, compound, <laughs> compound. So anyway, I wanted to share this brain fart with you because um, the H HSA can be powerful. It's a uh, tax what do we not tax benefit? It's, it's a tax shelter. It's, it's a, it's just one more piece of your, your whole investment portfolio and, and plan for building financial freedom. So if you are using an HSA, I just wanted to share that with you that don't spend the money. If you don't have to, it's there for emergencies. Otherwise keep it invested. And then once, you know, it has a certain amount of money, you can move it actually to a custodian who can self direct that money for you and, and back into real estate or whatever. So Anyway, that's my quick brain fart update. I hope I can save you a, a mistake like I made, and now I'm all in on just building that HSA as a 
another opportunity to protect, you know, it's, it's there for emergencies for healthcare, which that's its main purpose, but it's also um, a way to grow the money and have tax benefits. So that's it for now. Freestyle Capital Group is here. We're starting to, I say we, it's just me, um, ramp up. I've been talking to a lot of, of the operators. Um, one operator had us an opportunity now that fits very well for 1031 money because it's an opportunity zone, which means, um, here's another thought for you. I was gonna make this short just about the HSA, but I'll add this in there as well. For 1031 money, as you know, it gets rolled over um, from one asset into the next, into the next, as long as it's like kind and, and valued more, cost more or whatever, um, th that's kind of the idea. So you're deferring taxes for years and years and years and years. And one day, if you die, you win. And then your heirs get the asset without having to pay taxes. But if you cash out, then you pay taxes, right? At that time, after you've been snowballing all of this equity into your real estate investments. But if you 1031 that money into an opportunity zone property, as long as you hold the property for 10 years, you pay zero capital gains taxes, not only on that project, but every other 1031 exchange tax money you deferred gets wiped out as well tax-free. So you can actually win the game without dying. So I think that's a win. Anyway, so those are my two thoughts for today. Use your HSA right. And um, consider if you're 1030 wanting, consider looking for an opportunity zone project at some point. Um, but the point is, things are starting to happen. Things are starting to move. It's still not completely stable. This video is June, mid-June. Um, we're worried potentially about August and September rents. But as of now, we have not seen the effects of COVID as bad as you know we thought it could have been, though we've been getting all the stimulus money. So... Um, we really don't quite know. We're just kicking the ball further down the field, right? Um, with every stimulus and, and lot, still a lot of unknowns, but, um, people are starting to move, get antsy and want to, you know, some people pulled money out of the stock market to include me, my, myself, well, that's bad grammar, to include me, um, sitting, I have money sitting on the sidelines that I'm ready to invest in, in a better deal than the stock market. Tired of the, the kangaroo, you know? Screw the bear, screw the bull. We've got a, a kangaroo market right now. So um, anyway, people are starting to want to invest. So, um, and opportunities are on the horizon. Unfortunately, with the COVID stuff, there will be some people that will lose and um, people that will save the day by <laughs> taking an investment from them. And that is the project we want to be on because there is opportunity on the horizon. So keep... Uh, Educating yourself, stay open to opportunities. Um, call me, set up a call with me. We can chat. I just um, to, for the SEC. If if you are going to participate in something, I need to know you. I cannot present an opportunity if you if you're to you if you're non accredited and we've never met before or at least don't have some sort of relationship. So first step, if you haven't done that, do that. Go to the. Facebook page or the website or whatever, as long as you click on a button somewhere and you put your email in, you're going to get into the funnel in order to book a call with me. Also, my phone number is out there at the moment. Um, so you could just call me directly too. If that works, but we need to talk. Um, so anyway, I'm going to end this video. I hope everyone is having a lovely, not quite summer yet, but it is summer in just a few days. So um, yeah, best wishes to everyone and, and uh, happy investing.